What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you text episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up on last time, we the bulk of it was actually capturing Annapolis. And this army needs some replenishment, and then they will move on to take Williamsburg, and then they'll once they take Williamsburg, they'll take Charleston, and then things could, could get a bit dicey. But then this garrison force here at Boston. I planned on sending down to capture uh, Great Britain, uh, Nassau, and then landing in St. Augustine in Florida. So I'll probably take this handful of units too. Well, they've totally gone to the wrong place, but it's my fault. Can't recruit a general, but I'd like to get some types of some some cavalry units, and then I will uh, send them down to take Nassau. And then this army's in refit. Uh, down here, the standoff with the Genoans is still here. I need to fix this capital and spend some money replenishing some troops. Because eventually I am going to <clears throat> declare on Genoa. Um, because they are just... They're too dangerous to be kept alive. But they're starting to pump out um, guards, guard infantry. So that's a, it's a bit of a concern. Um, but it wants to knock out, if I knock out Genoa, then they lose the bulk of their actual decent unit manufacturing capability, um, because, you know, these North African regions aren't worth, aren't worth a lot. They've got an army down here, so I need to be careful about what they do. See, there's an army garrison, but they've got an army embarked on this fleet. And then in, <clears throat> then in the Middle East, we're just kind of hunkering down, because we've made peace. With the Empire, with the Ottomans, and I don't think they can really afford to uh, to crack on too much. And I do want to give Damascus walls. <coughs> if I'm, oh, and this army's push, pushing up to Moose Factory. Um, but yes, I do want to give Damascus. <coughs> sorry, I do I do want to give Damascus walls because if that's going to be my uh, my primary defensive position, then I do want them to be suitably equipped. I mean, the the how the territory works. The, if they do attack me, I can bring my army out to engage them on the field before they get to um, that my uh, my city. But it would be handy if I needed to recruit a knee-jerk garrison for whatever reason that they are equipped with walls because defending cities is quite simple. And Spain's still keeping on. I need to be very careful about Spain because uh, eventually they will hate me enough to declare on me and I will be at war with Spain and see how many of my allies <clears throat> stick by me then so the likes of Austria and Sweden could well turn against me so that's why it's very very tempting to knock out Britain because I'm getting to the point where I've expanded enough that my alliances will start to collapse by the wayside um, a bit as the AI turns against me <laughs> what? right, so this is the big one I want to call my allies because if I if because they might not join, well, they don't want to, definitely don't want to join Russia. So let's yes. So Sweden's not backed me, fine, but Austria and Genoa have, and Spain as well. Well, Austria was the is the big one. So now hopefully um, Austria is now at war with Russia, which further gives them a target of um, an eastward target, and it looks like they're going on to try target. Um, targets Berlin which will not go well because they will not be able to capture it but it does mean I am now engaged in another war in Europe so knocking out the uh, the British would be quite a useful thing to do I think and ultimately it's reached a point where they're not a threat anymore comparatively oh and interestingly it will provide a catalyst to send the Genoans eastwards there is a port in this region yeah. that has not yet been developed. Select the type So we've lost our alliance with Sweden, which is fair enough, because that's what you'd expect, because they've uh, abandoned us in our hour of need, making themselves a target for future, for reference. So you, what are you doing? You can't interfere with any of my ships. Right, so I'm going <coughs> to... God, sorry, just so I could clear my throat a second. Sorry about that, guys, I don't know why. Why oh, that's flared up. Um, 
Ooh, Calais has given me a port, which I will build, and I expect will probably be immediately knocked out. But I do need to build a ship to get this army and Didier Gascar over to Dublin. I think I might do a bit of a boogaloo with my troops. So let's take these five militia, take them back to Paris, bring out these guards, this Swiss line, this oh, this unit of cool light cavalry. So that's four units. Oh, I can get two more units, actually. So let's take an artillery unit and a howitzer unit. If I would try to fight them, but I fear that if I fought them, then I'd be at, I'd be in a naive battle against both of these fleets. Which may be good, maybe not. Mm, so I'm going to leave... Mm, I might fall them back to Brest. If they come out this way, then I'll try and engage them, if I can. Um, but I accept that it could be could be dangerous. New port emerges. Oh, that, that was Calais. Let's take one of these militia units and dump them in Calais. Construction reported, good, Jamaica's, Jamaica is growing. Cl new cloth mills, metal roads in Quebec, good. Maintain siege, there's no critical need to push down. Just let these guys reinforce before moving down to, uh, to Williamsburg. Let's recruit a general. Let's recruit a couple of units of Colonial Light. A couple of units of Compagnie Franche de la Marine. Because I have no elite infantry. Get me one howitzer. Then in two units, in two turns, sorry, this army will be ready to take uh, Nassau. And critically, fleet arrives in India. So this very, very, very weak force, well, weak navy, sorry, has broken through to capture Ceylon, to open up gains in the American region, and it'll just be a quick auto-resolve. Chomp. Okay, so let's do these first. Because I've got a limit of what I can actually repair. We do have an abundant yield tea house and an average yield gem mine, so within not very long these areas will be ready to ready to rock and roll. And in Canada we'll build a religious building to, to get a uh, priest to start converting this region. And if I start spawning extra um, ships or extra uh, priests, I'll start just dotting them around in the Indian region just to cause some uprest. Okay, it's got some militia in Amsterdam because they're looking a bit twitchy. About grading this university, and Portugal's got some more garrisoning line infantry. So I stump my rake near Spain just to keep an eye on what they're doing. In near Madrid, sorry. Lots of cool elite units, elite pikes. But yes, yeah, so this is the first. This is the first area where Russia can can uh, be a pain. So I need to be ready for that. If I can dump this army off of off of Dublin, they can start fighting. And <clears throat> they're very elite forces. Granted, there's lots of troops, but I'm pretty strong, pretty sure that we'll uh, be able to beat them. Yeah, take Dublin, consolidate here, use as a base, push on to Edinburgh. Spain is raiding Glasgow, which is very, very handy. Then eventually push south and attack London. Then once I've taken the British Isles, this will, I want to use this as a springboard to start sending navies around here and taking these more rear areas. I'm um, in Russia, maybe pushing down St. Petersburg. I mean, I know these aren't worth very much, but uh, you know, it's the it's the principle of the thing. You just take a few of their territories just to make sure that they can make them make it clear that they can't just mess with me. Unfortunately, the Cherokee might take Louisiana up and lower Louisiana. So this stack looks like it could well win. And this stack down here could well win if they don't fight them off. I mean, if I was fighting that, I'd probably win. But this is the AI, so we'll find out. So yeah, that's why this army going down here, knocking out Nassau, then landing and starting to capture some of these Cherokee territories is very, 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 very important. Oh, moly. Holy moly. So who took Russia? Was it Russia? It was Russia. Oof. Well, that's why these guys are pushing on. So what have they got? 
Okay, so I might have to recruit some more uh, interesting units to defend Berlin. So let's take... Hmm, I don't want to break this army up, but I kind of have to, because the main threat is up here. Or... I just bring this army up here, ready to engage with the Russians and take Gdansk. I think I'm going to have to do. It'd be nice to take Genoa, and I'll probably have to use the Turin garrison to, to lay the initial blows. Hmm, it's not ideal. Let's get these guys to trundle their way to Berlin in time. I need to remember to recruit some of these cool new units. Right, end turn. So Britain's reinforcing Annapolis. Which is the smart thing to do. I want to see what Austria does against the Russians. Because they are allied with me. So let's see if they will be faithful allies and engage the enemy or treacherous allies and sit there in their little bubble. I suspect it will be the latter. See, if they pushed down to Kiev, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm not concerned about um, Berlin falling. Um, but I would be... I don't want to give the Russians free reign. Particularly if I think that the... Uh, particularly if I think that the uh, the Austrians are going to be a bit lacklustre in their support. You want to, no, I'm not going to give you two good technologies with 740. I'm not going to give you any technologies. I really dislike giving technologies away. To my edge, damn it. I've researched it. It's mine. My own. And of course, the Ottoman playing the true the true game by attacking your PC. Okay, so here are these forces going to support the army moving on. Oh. Oh, I'm not going to fight that. I'm going to water resolve that cuz I can't bother to fight it. Yeah. Fair enough. Finish them off. If you don't finish them off... Yeah, I was going to say. Oh no. They've pushed someone else. Navy just. Sadly. Ah, there we go. They're going to finish them off. Boom. Oh, I won. And we stole a bomb catch. Suckers. But yeah, I'm... I'm. Oh, see, this is where owning the dem owning those straits would be handy. Because not the Russians are just pouring out. As long as they don't interfere with my transit of troops to Dublin. Which I don't think they will. If I can get troops to Dublin. Oh, and they see that. Oh, and they're going for Spain as well. Oh, here comes another army moving on Berlin. Ooh, ooh, and they've got. Oh, God, they've got one unit of horse artillery. This is going to be fun. So they've got one unit of horse. in my walls. Eventually, once I've beaten back their assault. Very do this first time out. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see how uh, what fighting the Russians is like. Because I'm not for them. I've fought with them. Now, you know, me and my Russia have been an enemy. They've usually the been. Enemy will try to smash that. Of course they will. Well, it's already a breach. So let's take you to pull you all out. Well, mortars in the centre. The breach is facing the right direction. So let's put Firelock Armed Citizenry up here, just to man the walls and fire and do something vaguely useful. Put a unit of militia inside here, then let's do a bit of regular manning, because where are they going to deploy? Okay, so they can deploy. So let's do this. It gives me three units to do... This is assuming I even need all these. They may, <clears throat> they may deploy here, in which case... Well, if I do that... There we go. So they're firing arcs. They're both within the, uh, the breach. So let's hit play. And they have all deployed there, weirdly. So in which case, let's make these guys come down here as a bit of a reserve. No quick climb, sadly. Their artillery's in a terrible position. 
Just kill a bunch of their own guys. I'm gonna make these guys garrison here. Run! If they all start swarming the left, then... Conscripts, the militia... So now some units are trying to make it through conventionally. Ooh, good. Need to keep an eye on this section of the wall. 45%. So some of them are going to try and make it, but I have fire at will. Oh, I need to do... Oh, can I make you... Oh, it's unfortunate that these guys are displacing some of my line infantry. There we go. The opening shots. The opening musket shots. These guys make it any further along the wall. These are just regular old conscripts. There you go, man the walls, pour musket fire into those poor swines. There we go. Fire? Fire you dogs, this is your lives. Okay, so we've got some Cossacks coming in. They're on the charge. You guys need to be firing a bit more than that, lads. They're just getting picked apart. Yeah, I'll accept the charge. It's not going to work very well for them. Come on, they're wavering. Routing! Let's go and more to hit Carcassot and fire at the breach. There you go, these guys have already rock and roll. Fire fire by rank into the Cossacks, although they've very handily stopped in the breach. So let's get them to target <clears throat> the militia as they come out the wall. Come on. Turn off fire at will, turn on fire at will. Because even uh, armed citizenry in this sort of position should be able to be uh, pretty devastating. I need to throw another unit of infantry into the mix. I don't want them gaining a foothold. I mean, they've already gained a foothold, but eventually they will... There you go, they've routed, so now it's just the militia. Cossacks are coming back. Turn fire off, fire will off the militia, even though they will become handy. Uh, they're currently shooting in the backs of my combat on the walls, which is not ideal.
Poor old militia. Done a good job though. Knocked 100 men off of this unit, this garrison unit. But at what cost? Encourage is doing quite well too. I expected them. I suppose expected them to have routed before now. Well, these guys are going to route. They're going to re reload. And some of them are going to fire at will into the breach. Yeah, these guys are more than the 101st Regiment of Foot. Scripts getting into a gun battle, which they're not going to win. Let's get my mortars to fire at the conscripts instead. Fire into the block of men. Yeah, fire again. You know, turn on fire at will. It actually could do some good. The remnants of the foot of the line units are coming up. All this infantry unit back so that the muskets are firing, my militia are firing more into the uh, into the line. We know they're firing into the guys as they get charged rather than you know hitting the uh, are they within range of there. Sadly, not, I don't think. I got Union of Dragoons. And the pikes got destroyed. But yeah, I may as well triple speed it because this ain't gonna. This ain't gonna go well. There we go. Now they've started to pick at the dragoons, which have very handily abandoned their horses. Oh, hello. Oh, these guys have run out of ammunition, so they can just gonna stand there and look scary. Just gave one to man their uh, man their guns. Ooh, actually, I might. No, no, they're going to be firing at will anyway. There we go. Poor old Cossacks. And then there's another unit of Cossacks. Wavering, wavering, wavering. The artillery's not wavering. The Dragoons aren't wavering. Occasionally picking at some of them, these guys. Oh, hello. They've given up and they've gone crazy. Straight to the breach. Unfortunately, my mortars cannot. Oh, they can actually. With a round shot, target the howitzers. Oh no, they've. Nope, they're not climbing the walls. They're going to run around and rout. And let's triple speed it, because ultimately should be kind of game over by now. Let's 
Just advance my infantry out, I suppose. Run! Let's see if they get stuck on the uh, stuck on the gate. Maybe it's because I'm running them that's causing them the problem. Oh, that's the general gone, and the guns will follow soon after. That's the end of that. The Russians have been repelled from Berlin. There you go, lost 2,000 men, and I was 474. That's a good exchange rate. Back you go. See, if I gave myself some heavy artillery, quick climb, that could be pretty devastating. Good, the Cherokee have pulled back. But, oh, they've taken Lower Louisiana. And this army's going to move up and try to take up Louisiana. Thankfully, this isn't the end of Louisiana. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Workers on strike. So Fine. To construct here. The fishing port will help your heroic death. Oh, this guy. Well, let's get you back to Europe, because the Russians very kindly didn't let you, didn't uh, finish you off. There's a bunch of stuff we need to finish. Okay, let's not grid you. Let's. Okay, so let's take this army. Get the mercenaries out. Get them into port. Equip them. Or, you know, embark them. Take my grand fleet. Storm Island. And then this is auto it because the simple battle. Fixed. Ireland is secured, as is our foothold on the continent. Now, let's take my ships and raid somewhere. That's a dockyard. Just raid the dockyard just to burn it down. Raid here. Can't burn it down, but I can pin all your troops inside. Get you back in the dockyard. And then let's recruit a got heavy first rate. Admiral's flagship first. Another first rate. Then let's get a third rate. There you go. Lots and lots of new ships. Ordnance Museum in Amsterdam. Not, not critical. Plenish. Well, let's keep you near Berlin. To be honest, let me move you up to here. Start offensive ops against the Prussians, against the Austrians, the Russians, sorry. Let's have a look at Warsaw. Apparently ungarrisoned. And the Poles are furious, so they might we might see a rebellion. Oh, the Ottomans have executed my, my guy. Fair enough. And this guy got some lovely, lovely boosts. Cool. And then let's hop over here. So one more turn, then this army will be at full strength. I'm not sure why it's, you know, damaged, because, you know, it's not actually... Okay, I need to recruit. I need to put a happiness building. I need to get a rake lists. Agents, missionary, gentlemen... Paris, Japantania, Poland, Spain, Turkey, Michigan Territory. Right, let's get you over here and blow his brains out. It's in Ireland. A good God Catholic loving country. So he's rigid and rested and happy, even though I'm in charge and I'm Protestant. They should love me. By the looks of it, Edinburgh is ungarrisoned. All of their forces are in London. Then it's just to make it a bit more fair because I did talk about how I wanted to uh, destroy British possessions 
globally. Let's land in Calcutta. Although there is someone inside the dock. Ooh, they do have troops. So, you land here. And you flee back to your dock. Obviously can't fix anything yet, but they still quite like me. Can't recruit anything, but I should be safe. And these guys land and take Kuttak, which isn't ideal. They want to move up and take Calcutta. Um, but, you know, we can only play with the hand we've been dealt. Aha, so Britain doesn't know what to do. They know I'm coming. And they've sallied out at uh, Moose Factory. So let's fight it. I'm going to have to guess my recording is, because when that software pops up, cancel my recording, I ah, what time it finishes, or what time it stopped, so soon find out. <laughs> well, I yeah, generally try to be at least a bit over, give you guys a 15 minute episode. Tell these early armies, all these darn demi cannons. Okay, let's put you back, because of the mortars. Four troops for the center. Put a gun over here in the trees. Not so ideal, but you know. So my expats and a couple of units guard the left flank in the trees. Ooh, that's not many men at all. So let's steal you. And deploy you up here. Give yourself shields or barricades. Put a mounted tribal auxiliary up here with a unit of cavalry. Put another unit of cavalry in here in the trees, probably wide ish. He's not hidden. Now he's hidden. Then my general looks very smug in the centre. Open fire! Oh man! There's a hidden unit of Native Americans here, because I can see their corpses. So let's triple speed it up to make sure, I mean, let them get a bit, get a bit closer. My artillery's going to keep pounding the section of, of mortars. Ooh, they actually destroyed all of the... Oh no, wait, they didn't. So they damaged them enough and they decided to... Get up and charge. I'm still hitting the garrison, hitting the gun crews. Okay, so they're pushing the right flank. General's bodyguard. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these guys is they are going to secure this ridge line. Artillery is going to limber up. These guys are going to come out of the out of the uh, protection of their barricades and spin around the flank. Hold their fire till they're close. Oh no! The, the auxiliary is shooting at them. So fire at will. Mm. Got a good number of them. Okay. Well, if they want to be. They want to sit back here, then we'll come to them. So let's pitch my artillery up on this hill.
When I zoom in closer, then I just don't talk because everything's so loud. Move my line up quickly because I want to secure good firing position. Can we try to get a volley into the side of their auxiliary. charge off. I've got the hill advantage. Oh god, these poor Bowman Auxiliary. Just from all directions. Let's pivot these guys so they don't get tempted to fire into my infantry combat. These guys to put on stakes. They were going to. <laughs> Move up, keep the pressure on him. This cavalry to smash into these regular mercenaries. Dog dug them around so they don't hit my. Whoop. Dog dug them around so they don't hit my. Uh, hit my infantry. And my, my infantry here is very thickly placed, um, but that's because I've got more infantrymen than I want to, uh, to deploy. He's it's a massacre. It's going to square formation. Artillery pounding him. Friendly fire. Is Bowman going into ground going into melee combat? So we're pecking at the general's bodyguard, but he's probably gonna, yeah, if he's routing. Redeploy. Shot, shot a load of my own cavalry. So I want these guys to chase after the uh, General's bodyguard, because they can do a bit of good shooting. Talk me artillery fire, there's no point. Oh, reload. My natives are watching. Well, they almost got you. 
I want to chop you guys up with musket fire, not a bayonet charge. Or Hessian line. That's a victory. Excellent. So hopefully the Sally was done in well, uh, this region. I'll probably declare war on the Huron because why not? Oh, next turn. Next turn I'll lace, I'll, uh, I'll finish them off. Good. The Austrians will be balancing eastwards, which is what I want. Don't come looking for trouble near me, Austria. you got Russia to face and you do have a border with them. That's right, pushed eastward so I can really easily jump on the likes of in Prague when our war eventually kicks off. As it will inevitably. Hmm. Always be wary of the Spanish and the good old, well, except when they're helping you out. Good old Spain, that's what I say. Stealing my tech, or they're having a, I don't know, or they're having a look at what I've got. See if there's anything worth stealing. At least I'm not at war with the Ottomans, because then it would be war on all of my fronts. On the home front, in the Middle East. Oh, hello, 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 hello. So let ooh someone rebelled or have they captured somewhere? Oh, they did. They captured. A, are they at war with Sweden again? Or is it now Russia against the world? Russia's taken on the uh, its traditional role as a global bad guy. Uh, no, I'm not gonna jump out and try to take that. You come near me, I'm gonna blow your brains out. The Louisiana fleet is rebalancing or reorientating itself. Are they going northward or are they going, going to Newfoundland? Finding safe harbour. East Great Britain's got nothing. Can't do anything. Genoese, are they going to create another army to sail to foreign climes and land and subjugate another enemy? Oh yeah, watch out Louisiana. They're coming. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Okay, don't worry, don't don't trouble me my island just yet. So where's that Russian chap? Get him! New town emerges in Upper Canada. Here, yeah, have a craft workshop. Ooh, and I've got Rupert's land as well. You don't even have dirt roads. Replenish, and let's do get you guys hooked up to the uh, global export market and get rid of the pleasure gardens you will have industry my friends commercial port will probably be good enough at least for the meantime Gaspé in New France the craft workshops lumber mill don't have much logging not much call for logging is there Let's take this army, which is now fully equipped. No aid except for their two cool line infantry units. Embark. And the sloop. Oh, go on. Land off of Nassau and secure the resources for the French Empire. And then just sit here and well you can't raid anything there's nothing to raid to the leeward islands okay let's get oh god and you didn't oh i don't even have basic roads for some of my sugar plantations
Good, good, good. Lots of economic investing. And now we're going to start to really see things take off. Uh, someone's blockading my sugar roots. Is that... Oh, it's this. It's me not being... It's me being stingy and not repairing it. A whole lot of construction, which I can't really... Oops, sorry about that. I can't really capitalise on because I've already spent all my money. Research and tech. God, I've got, I've got so much research. To the point where it's almost not worth um, trying to optimise it. Could really do building a gunnery school. But I can't. Well, next turn, I'll build a gunnery school. Good. Let's hop over to India. Monsieur? Secure cut attack, I suppose. Do a bit of baseline reinvestment or um, replenishment. Knock down the College of Divinity. Keep the Pleasure Guard. Oh no, knock them down. You'll really like me once I start spending money. I need to start upping Catholicism. That's what we really need to do. That's their garrison force. We're basically next time to come over here and spend lots of money. Rupert's land is captured. Arissa is captured, and there is our first, our first Indian stack in India. Whew. Radio. I've really got lots of, uh, lots of things on the go at once here. Send my cavalry on to scout. Okay, so I definitely want to take advantage of this state of affairs and move up towards Edinburgh for now. Yeah, because Ireland likes me, generally. Giving them the amphibious assaults bottled up. Cool. Let's hit end turn. Ah, so they are sending troops northwards to engage me and to garrison uh, Glasgow. Which makes sense, because right now I'm threatening their entire existence. But this is the point where even at 36,000 a turn, because I'm engaged in so many places at once, it's not enough me to fight on all those fronts. Well, it is enough. It's enough to maintain what I've got, but it's not enough to expand. You can only expand, getting more money. More money, more expand, more expand, more money, more expanding, and so on. Good old Spain. Uh, decline attack. <laughs> I will not send a French sloop. French sloop will become kindling. Oh, the Spanish. Cheeky old Spanish stealing my tech. No, I'm not going to give you indefinite military access. Who are you trying to get to? There's literally no one you need to... F well, unless you unless you want to fight Genoa, I guess. They're the only one you can you need to go through me to get to. Radio. The Russians are making their pitch. Oh. Right. Okay, see, so I need to raise more armies in Europe. I've got India on the go. I've got to expand in the Americas rapidly. Yeah, the Mughals are coming. Damn the British and their roads. But this is what's going to happen. Uh, ultimately, the, the attack into uh, India could have been a very... Well, it probably was, actually, a very bad mistake. So what could... Hmm. Hmm. It might be interesting if I try to see them for peace. Because my army will teleport to Ceylon. Because well, usually that's, that's what happens when you fight for... When you need to declare peace. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Okay. Select the... Okay, there's lots of stuff going on at the minute. So, diplomacy, the Mughal Empire, open, request peace, and I will give you... 
Clarissa. And trade. 20 grand! Counter offer. Seven. Twenty. No. No peace. Although, to be honest, I still might need to pay it. <laughs> to be honest, the smart thing to do, I think, is just to do this. Oop. Yep. Bring my army back. You guys wait here for now. Because I'm not in a position to do that yet. I thought I was, but I am not. I didn't, I didn't appreciate how much the Russians would drive through, drive through here. Um, so I do need to... Great Berlin. No cavalry, which is unfortunate. My fool, I've got lots of cool French units. So let's build a field marshal of Europe to fight against the Russians, and I probably want to get a unit of. These cavalry scenes are literally smashing the units and destroying them utterly. Okay, let's get get a Grenadier Guard unit, get a Cuirassier unit, and get a Lancer unit. Four, one, cool. Start Berlin, uh, recruiting their own units. Research and tech. Oh, I've got a gunnery school. Invest, invest. Hop over to the Americas. Knock out. Knock out Britain. We'll knock out this region. Do a bit of basic investing. Fix the damage the Spanish have done. Replenish and then get ready to uh, knock them out of the Americas. Should really drive here. Drive down south. But I think I'd rather spend the money on making more money. Average yield, adds fur pelts, fleet arrives, this is my knackered fleet from the trade theatres, let's sprint you guys to Waterford. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's take this complete army. And there is still no one in Edinburgh. So, chomp. And there's a British army. But I now hold the fort. So, feel free to attack me if you wish. I just don't think it'll work. You need to do something, Britain. Can't see if you have a garrison or not. But I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, so the real matter at hand is taking this army here. Fair enough, I was going to attack them anyway. I just wanted to see if I could get to here then there. But we will engage in combat with the Russians. So, but looking at the timer, I'm over my part anyway. And that's not even considering that I've had the recording stopped. So, hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.